Hello everybody, I've been missing in action for a while and I just installed Linux Mint 21, the new one, 21, and I just did some basic setup, got that stuff over with, and I did a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade to basically update most of my software that I have, but uh, right now I got my system monitor and I've got my graphics card temperature monitor down here. What I don't have is Radeon Profile, and I love that software because it's able to cool down my graphics card. So, I'm here making this video to show you the new procedure for Linux Mint 21, so you don't sit here and waste six hours like I did trying to figure it out. Here's what I did. I came to this page. I tried these instructions down here to actually build this and I also clicked on this I opened up a new tab I went here tried to set up the daemon as before had nothing but problems because QMake is broken in Linux Mint 21 I want to say QT QT5 is now broken so if you have to use QT5 to compile something you're gonna to have to go back to the old version of Linux Mint 20.3 unfortunately it's broken and that's how it is but I scroll down this page just a little bit more past that and all of a sudden I see Ubuntu instructions so these instructions for the new version of Linux Mint 21 are only relevant for people with Ubuntu Linux Mint or another compatible install that uses Ubuntu software repositories I'm going to go ahead and add this repository here. Oh yeah, 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 go ahead, spell it wrong. Now it seems like that's all I've got to do is install the main program instead of installing the daemon. So if that's all I've got to do, no complaints here. But I'm going to show you what you got to do to make the settings stick on this. Alright, where's that program at? I'm just going to go to all. Okay, first thing you're going to do is launch it. And this is what I need to do right now because my fan was literally just sitting there on 0% cooking my card. So I'm going to go to 50%, click apply. That's just normally what I run it at because I like to run cards cool, not hot. But OBS Studio normally runs my card a little bit hotter than normal anyway. So I'm going to switch to the configuration menu. I like to start minimized, minimize to tray and on close, hide to tray. Just keep everything tray based. It's very important to check this right here. Save selected fan control mode. Now I'm just going to click save all as I scroll down. And since I'm not running this based on the daemon, like this is the way that I first ran this when I first installed it. I'm going to close this. All right, it's still going in the tray. Great. This is what you need to do to make sure it starts. You need to go to Startup Applications, and you need to add an entry. Radeon-Profile should be all that you have to enter. I'm going to go ahead and make it a 30 second delay on mine because that gives everything else a chance to start up before this starts up. It's not going to kill it if it has to wait a few seconds. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'm going to reboot right now and see if this comes up. Yeah, so that's it. It works. I just rebooted and 
a check down here in the system tray. Fans running at 50% speed, well, 47.8. That's good enough for me, and that's a lot better than 0%. It's definitely running my graphics card a lot cooler noticeably. As I said, this method's only good for Ubuntu-based distros, but this works for Linux Mint 21, and you don't have to install the daemon now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.